So this next project is called Coloring Pages. It's basically you're taking coloring book pages that you can find off the internet. I've got a link to some different ones you can use, and you're actually using Photoshop to color them in. Okay, this is a student example of that, and it doesn't have to be Christmas related. You can find any kind of image you want to. So I'm going to navigate back to Canvas, and I'm just going and just in uh, modules here. So I'm going to scroll down to this assignment here. It's actually coloring pages, and it's due December 14th, right before we go to Christmas break. Okay. So you can see here the three um, three coloring book pages equals a 90. If you have four coloring book pages, it equals a 95. Uh, five plus equals 100. And if you add in effects, and I'll explain what those are when I would go into Photoshop, explain what those are. And if you add one of those, you will get it up to 105. Okay. This is a Google slide. It talks about you're creating a uh, document here. You're going to find an image like you have this. If you want to find an image of Spider Man or Lion King or Frozen or anything you want to. You're going to find one from the internet, copy and paste it into a coloring book page in Canvas. On your Canvas, remove the background, like we talked about using the magic wand tool to remove the background. Coloring in a page and create a custom background. So you can use those different tools there. And if you add extra things, you can you know get up to 105. This is another student example. And this is one with the effects. That's, that's this outer glow thing. And we'll talk about that, what they are later. And it has a drop shadow on that. So you're going to save it each um, different image as a separate JPEG file and upload it to Canvas. So therefore, if you create three different coloring book pages, you're going to upload three different JPEGs to this assignment. Okay. There's a link here to other students that have done this in the past. So you actually can see like this picture right here. This person didn't. He didn't just a marsh uh, marshmallow man here. And this Ghostbusters thing, uh, Noel and different Christmas themes here. Or, I'm sorry, they have uh, this one here. It's kind of Christmas related. First Christmas carolers, presents, three wise men, but then some other things they've created. And they've added all this other stuff. This background color and like this different things are actually effects on this. Okay. So I'm going to show you what those are. So um, at the very top here, there's a link. To different images you can use if you want to use these you can you do not have to okay so i'm going to start with a very simple one um but i'm going to actually use this noel right here okay so i'm just going to download that again you can use your own you don't have to use those but i'm going to actually now it's downloaded i can click on uh, adobe photoshop and we're going to create a file So I will create a new document here. And it's going to be a print document. It's going to be a letter. So it just needs to be just call it Noel. And uh, Noel, or I could call it stocking. OK. Uh, then the background transparency are going to be transparent. So scroll down to transparent. OK. And then click Create. OK, it's going to blank. And we're going to actually click file and place embed it. Now we're going to actually find our uh, downloads folder. This is the Christmas stock thing, stocking. Place that. It's going to be real small, but we're going to make that. You can make that larger there. So make it larger there. OK, this is about the size I want. So click on the plus sign. We learned how to use the magic wand tool. Um, this is actually the magic wand tool. The outside needs to be complete, and it's not complete right here. So I need to actually. I'm going to do this, but you probably won't have to. I click on the brush tool and make sure this is black. It's black here. And then I'm just going to zoom in. To, oh, I need to rasterize later. So rasterize later so we can make the changes. Scroll in so I can see this. And I just make that complete there. That's all I'm going to do. So make it complete. Scroll back out. I've got new and then click on the magic wand tool now and actually delete the background. So I delete now I have to select, deselect. So I've got my image there. Okay. So I'm gonna create a new layer. This is my background image. And so I'm gonna turn that off for a minute. 
So the background, what I'm going to do is create a gradient. So on under the paint bucket tool, click healthy down, it's under the gradient tool. So this preset one to start with is actually called the foreground to background. It's black to yellow right now. So this is black to yellow. So if I change that to maybe a purple, it's going to be purple to yellow. Okay. And I can change the yellow to a different color there. Maybe I want to change it to, I don't know, light blue or something like that. Okay. So it's got purple to blue. Now the gradient here says different colors. If you want to change it to spiral, you can do a spiral. So like whatever size line you draw, it's going to be that. So this is a radial thing. If you choose a gradient, uh, linear, then if you choose a long line, it's going to be a long gradient. If you choose a short line, it's going to be a short gradient. Gradient means it change from one color to another color. That's what the gradient means. And so I like to have a long uh, color where it changes there. It's a long uh, transition from purple to blue. So I like down there. So now I can turn back on my Noel thing. It's on a different layer here. So maybe the top I'll leave white, but at the bottom I want to change to red. So I click on this one and I can change it to red here. Click OK. And now I click on the paint bucket tool. So maybe I want to change this to red. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to undo that. So I click on the undo paint bucket tool. I can click on the history as well too. And now I need to click on this uh, stocky thing and click on the red to change it there and inside the Noel. So um, and then I'm going to change these letters so you can see it changed to red, not blue, right? So maybe this is the foreground color. And maybe then I can change this to green. That's one letter. The next one I can change to maybe a yellow. That's a yellow there. And maybe change to yellow. And then I change this one to maybe, um, yeah. Let's leave it uh, a blue right there. Just some blue, dark blue. And maybe this one is maybe, um, I use the green. Let's use, uh, maybe I use a different, like another purple. Okay. So I got a purple there. So it's going to know well. Okay. What I'm going to do now is show you how to use the effects. Like I talked about, if you want to get up to 105, you're actually going to need to um, add effects. And that's what this this uh, icon right here is called FX, which stands for effects. Kind of playing words there. So you can actually choose what kind of effects. I'm going to actually show you an outer glow here. So it brings the delic box. If you want to change it to any other ones, so like a job shadow or anything like that, you can actually change those. So I'm going to turn that off, but I'm going to go back to our glow settings. And when want to leave it as white. If I want to change the color, I can. Any color I want to, but I'm going to click cancel. I want to leave it as white. So you can see there my spread and my size determines like how you can see it's changing there. Right here it's changing. It's changing. Uh, here's the spread here. And it's up there. The spread like this size here and spread and the technique you can actually choose for size for software yeah like this so i click okay and you can see it has a white outer glow basically just what it sounds like outer glow so that's up to 105 and to do this with uh, all three of those if you want to add an effects there so the last thing we're going to do is i can turn that in and so again you're going to turn in every single jpeg is a separate JPEG file to this canvas. Okay, so we're gonna click on Save As. You want to name it as uh, Save it as a JPEG. Name it in your ID folder. Your Navig folder has maybe your graphic design or A1 or B2. So we're gonna save it as just what you named it. So save. Okay, and then click OK. Now I need to go back to my canvas assignment. Back to canvas, and I've heard. I'm going to click on new attempt so you can turn in maybe three or four or something like that. So turn as many as you need to and click on the upload file and then choose a file. And what I'm going to do is actually go to my A1 folder and then click on uh, stocking right here. So I click on open and submit. And that should finish this assignment. So you're going to do that with maybe three or four or however many different coloring book pages. Okay.